So, you know, pretty much every year now we get new articles about the new Call of Duty game. And, you know, these articles just tell us how vile and inhumane this new game is. And this year, for some reason, they're going after specifically the white phosphorus killstreak. And from what I understand, this stuff can actually burn through your skin and damage bones. So, you know, I, I mean, it's not really the type of stuff you want to mess around with. And people are upset, apparently, because this stuff has been used against civilians before. So, somehow, that makes it not eligible to be a killstreak in a Call of Duty game. And the other thing about that is they brought back the game ending nuke and if you recall from history class real life nukes have been used before on civilians so i'm not sure why they're specifically targeting white phosphorus but we're gonna go ahead and jump into this article and find out why this stuff is so vile and shouldn't be in the game so this u.s marine says i believe it's perfectly fine to weave a serious narrative about war in video games but i find modern warfare's use as a kill streak reward a nearsighted glorification of what myself and others consider to be violation of the laws of armed conflict so so you're telling me that a video game can't violate the laws of armed conflict it's not it's not meant to be hyper realistic it's a call of duty game and he also said the game doesn't depict what the effect of white phosphorus has on the human body in any kind of realistic way so this guy's making the ridiculous argument that if they're gonna put this stuff in the game they need to make it hyper realistic to what it's like in real life and show the real effects of it this stuff doesn't need to be depicted realistically this dude acts like people are gonna be sitting here playing this game and they're gonna be like huh this white phosphorus stuff isn't too bad, think I might enlist in the military. Everyone understands that in Call of Duty you're practically this souped up super soldier that's invincible to everything. No one hops on Call of Duty expecting realism, we're trying to have fun on a game. If I wanted to know the effects of these killstreaks in real life, you know what I'd be doing right now instead of playing Call of Duty, buddy? I'll be sitting in history class. And if you really dislike this killstreak so much, you know what you can do? Turn off the TV. Don't buy the game. And he ends off the article by saying, I don't believe something as legally and morally questionable as white phosphorus is appropriate for a Call of Duty game. As someone who's seen firsthand what can happen to the human body in combat, I wish Infinity Ward would give this one a bit more consideration. So with this logic, why don't we take guns out of Call of Duty games too? Because there's plenty of people in the military and just in the real world who have seen the effects of gun violence. So why don't we take out guns too? Do you understand how you're kind of sounding like a clown right about now, buddy? And if you think about it, this article really is pointless because what do you think is going to happen? The entire world is going to start this revolution against Call of Duty kill shrieks. I think we have bigger problems in the world. And if you feel so strongly about white phosphorus, why don't you try and take steps to stop its use in the real world instead of worrying about how it's used in a Call of Duty game? So, you know, there's just my two cents about it. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this whole white phosphorus scandal going on. Are you also deeply offended by a kill streak in a Call of Duty game? Let me know. And if you guys see any future topics I could use for videos, make sure to tag me on Twitter at Subderelex. Don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Life is like some tennis, the ballin's been making a racket. Like Kardashian with the acting, the faking and plastic, it's basically magic. I prayed with all the days I imagined. Seeing myself up on the screen, they had no cable, just static. Wet dreams of maple bacon and mansions. Racist faces with panic, bigger than Glacier's Titanic. I'm playing Madden with Anderson Cooper. My beef Kobe like the Los Angeles Hooper. You cannot cancel this, I handle maneuver. For example, I grew this money tree with ample manure. I'm just a mammal with some bite, yeah, my enamel cause through the bullshit they threw so. In Canada, that's true though. I sampled everything at my Costco, then I ran. Naruto style. Sometimes I feel like a planet and sometimes not like I'm Pluto.